All right, so this is going to be a quick video showing how to open up and disassemble this ASUS ZenBook model UX582L. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is remove the screws from the bottom. Of course, these, um, let's see, we're gonna need a T5 or Torx 5 screwdriver. And then we're gonna have to also take out these little plastic covers because I'm pretty sure they're hiding screws under there. All right, you wanna keep all the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that is after I take the screw out, I put them the flat side down like this, and then in the pattern that I remove them. All right, so hopefully this will help you guys. All right, if this video helps you with your computer, uh, please like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can also learn how to fix their devices. If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider throwing a little my way. Every little bit helps, even a dollar is greatly appreciated. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and continue removing all these screws. All right, so now we're going to remove these little plastic covers. So I use like a little needle that I kind of bent like this, um, but whatever you got that works, well, you can use that, all right? So I get in the edge of these little plastic covers and you kind of push them out of the way. There we go. Again, try and keep all the screws in order. All right, I'm just gonna remove all the plastic covers first so I don't have to switch back and forth between those tools. Okay, try to get underneath. Can be a little tricky. The sharper the tool, the better you can get under. All right, this is kind of being a little bit of a pain. Come on, get out of there. This, this little plastic cover is probably gonna get damaged a little. Right. Do what we can. Okay, spinning around. Come on. I don't want to come out. If anyone has an easier way to get these things out, let me know. I don't know if there's a special tool that you can use to get these out cleaner. Maybe some kind of perfect size sticker. I don't know. <laughs> or a tiny suction cup. So for some reason, the two outer ones came out easily. Maybe there's no screw in the center one because it doesn't want to pop up. The other one's like it just popped up when I put pressure on it, so I don't know. Okay, there we go. You just push down on it on the outer edge and it pops up. Okay, the other one's the adhesive wasn't as strong. Jeez, these little covers are a little tricky to put down. Come on, go. there we go. All right, we're gonna continue with the T5 or Torx 5 screwdriver here. I'm gonna remove the three screws along the center. Hopefully this cover is not too difficult to take off. This is the first time I'm opening this uh, model. Um, all right, the screw in the center is actually much longer than the rest. But again, you wanna try and keep all the screws in order so that you don't get them mixed up. All right, now we're gonna remove the four on the front. These ones go in at an angle, so make sure you have your screwdriver at that angle. Okay. Just like that. All these screws. All right, hopefully this cover will come off easily. I'm gonna try with a suction cup because if I can't get this cover open, I'm not even gonna end up working on this one, but we'll see. All right, so we got the suction cup here. We're gonna try and pull from down here. I'm gonna hold down the other layer with this, and there we go, it comes out pretty easily. Okay, we're gonna slowly lift it just in case there's anything attached underneath. Kind of wiggle, and there we go. So we got the whole connector off. There's a thermal heat pad there, all right. I'm gonna set that cover aside. So that was pretty easy to open up. Um, there is only one uh, NVMe, PCIe NVMe SSD slot here. Um, there's the wireless card here, it's soldered to the board. Um, I'm not sure what this controller's for. GPU's under here, CPU's under here. I always thought this was like the um, like integrated graphics, but I'm not sure. The battery connector is here to remove it. There's this metal latch on top that you have to slide over. Once you do that, you can pop this connector out. A lot of ASUS models have this battery connector, so if you're not sure how to remove it, you can watch my other videos on ASUS laptops. 
you've got the keyboard connector here that looks like the keyboard backlight connector speaker connectors here fan connector there again i'm not going to remove all this stuff the speaker cable actually runs all the way to this so both speakers connect right there okay um then you got all these connectors i think lcd lvds um, and touch screen connectors i don't know which is which this is oled so i'm guessing that's for the screen um, then you got these weird spring hinges to lift up that secondary display. I'm not sure how that connects to the thing, but um, that's basically all I'm going to show in here. I'm going to take the SSD out so that I can try and clone it externally because it's not cloning with my software um, when I try and do it internally. So let's go ahead. I'm going to get this JS or PH1 screwdriver. Take this one screw out for the SSD. All right. Now that we've got that screw out, we can go ahead and lift this up slightly, and then we can wiggle and pull this back. All right, so I'm going to start this um, repair uh, cloning process, and then I'll be back with the reassembly. But basically, you just push everything back together and put all the screws back in. All right, anyways, I'll see you guys later with the reassembly, but I'm going to go ahead and do the other laptop keyboard replacement that I've been working on. Okay, I'll see you guys in, in a bit to see when I put this back together. All right, bye. All right, so the cloning process finished, and now we're going to put the computer back together. We're going to put this 2 terabyte SSD in, all right, just like that. I like to push both sides at the same time so it's not all the pressure going in one direction. All right, let's go ahead and take the screwdriver and put the screw back in here. Okay. I'm going to have to switch back. I'm using the wrong screwdriver. I need to switch to a PH1 or JS1. Sorry, I was switching back and forth between two computers, so I'm not 100% sure what I left off talking about, but we are going to just snap everything back together. I'm going to test this real quick. So because we lifted from this side, we're going to go ahead and put the top side in first, right? On this model, it might not really matter, actually, because it looks like the clips are similar all the way around. But uh, I'm just going to clip these back in, and then you want to push these clips actually this way to get them back in. Okay, make sure to clip them in. There we go. All right, I'm going to flip it over, see if it powers up and turns on properly. If it boots, then we're good to go. If it doesn't, then we might end up having to just put the old SSD back in because it's not liking to clone. All right, these designs are kind of weird. Um, it pops up the screen like this. I kind of feel like it makes it a little fragile, but I mean, if it works. All right, so I see the ASUS logo. And it's spinning, so it's booting. That's a good sign. All right, so we're going to let this boot up. Come on, the screen. Okay, there we go. So you can see, 538. I need to finish quick because dinner's coming soon with my family. All right, let me sign in. Okay, it looks like it booted okay. I see the stuff I installed. I'm going to remove the software that I installed because it's not needed anymore. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Oops. I forgot that it takes a little bit to load. Let's uninstall that. All right, now we just need to make sure. I'm going to, oops, remove all the logs and junk. I don't need that. Okay, so now we're going to make sure that the hard drive is actually two terabytes now. Um, I'm also going to go to the device manager Okay, device manager. I like to check the disk drive and see. So here we see um, the NVMe Samsung SSD 980 Pro, which is what they put in, two terabyte. It is showing up. Let's open up the drive to make sure it actually formatted to fit two terabytes. And here you see 1.81 terabytes. So it looks like it's good to go. Um, after doing that, I always like to restart the computer because Windows 10 does this weird hybrid sleep thing. When it shuts down, it's not actually shutting down unless you disable the fast startup mode, but most people don't have that. So anyways, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys. We're going to put back the rest of the screws. Um, but yeah, other than that, thanks for watching. You're welcome to stay. If, again, if it helped, like, subscribe, share my channel with others. Um, and if it helped you save a bunch of money, consider throwing a little my way. Even a dollar is greatly appreciated. All right. We're going to go ahead and put back the screws. I'm going to wait till it turns on completely. Oh, let me shut it down completely. All right. There we go. Let's put back the screws and we're good to go.
right? We're switching back to the T5, our Torx 5 screwdriver. Okay, and we'll put them all back in. Don't forget the little plastic covers here. If you lost them, they're not really important, but uh, I don't know why they put them there. Maybe it's for security. I don't, I don't know. I don't really know what it's for um, because they only covered three of them. So maybe it's so if you don't know how, what you're doing, you won't be able to take it apart, I guess. All right. So let's go ahead and get these screws back in. All right. Took a bit longer than I thought. I thought it would take two to four, two to three hours. Took me a little over four hours to do the keyboard replacement thing and then this. Mainly because I had other customers show up. I think if I didn't have other customers showing up, it would have been within three hours. But all right, longest screw in the center. in the front here make sure you put them in at the angle Oops, sorry make sure you put them in at that angle just like that this one too put it in at that angle okay last two screws this model in terms of upgrading is somewhat nice pretty easy to get to cover isn't too difficult to remove all right and that's all there is to it again thanks for watching and oh don't forget these little plastic bits all right just gonna get that in stick it in get that in that, stick that in okay last one oops flip it over there you go all right see you guys in the next one Let's drop this bite.